Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. What do you think? Hi, kids. What do you think of my imitation of Jesus? Mm, you're thinking about it, huh, Ricky? Yeah, I'm not very good at imitating Jesus. But I don't think that's what Jesus expected of us anyway. You know, Paul said in the book of Ephesians, you are God's dear children, so try to be like him. Live a life of love. Love others as Christ loved us. We are God's children, and we're called to imitate God. But that doesn't mean we have to imitate him by the clothes we wear, or we can't. I can't speak Greek or Aramaic or whatever. So I'll have to imitate Jesus the way he was, the way he was around people in the New Testament. I want to show love. Jesus wants us to love extravagantly. Live a life of love, the verse says. And I want to be extravagant with my love. Extravagant means when it's almost absurd. It's over-the-top love. So extravagant might be when you spend more money than you should have, or you take a very fancy vacation that... You probably, maybe you can't afford. That's being extravagant. But ex extravagant love is over the top kind of love, Jesus kind of love. Jesus loved his disciples so much that he got down on his knees and he washed their feet. That is extravagant love to get down on your knees and, and wash other people's feet, that's over the top, too much kind of love. When Peter said to Jesus, oh no, don't wash my feet, I don't want you to do my feet, stand up, Jesus. Did Jesus get angry at Peter? No, he just was so loving and kind and said, I have to do this for you, Peter. It's my way of showing love, and it's my way of sharing with you. And Jesus was so over the top with his love that he washed even Judas' feet that night. He knew that Jesus, Judas was going to betray him, and he wanted to wash his feet anyway and show extravagant love to a man who was going to turn him over to die. That is over-the-top, extravagant love, the kind of love we need to imitate. Sounds hard, doesn't it? I don't know if I want to wash other people's feet. Are you ready to wash my feet? No, no, Ricky doesn't. Ricky's not sure he wants to wash my feet. We don't have to wash other people's feet. I mean, we wear shoes and socks mostly. We're not out in the dirt. We're usually on grass or macadam. So we don't really have to wash each other's feet. But we can show extravagant love for others. Maybe, can you think of someone who has been mean to you? Somebody who made you angry? Can you show them love even though you just want to get even with them? Can you let go of that feeling and show that person love? How about just a cranky neighbor? He's not looking, he, she, they're not looking for love from you. They just want to complain about your ball coming into their yard again or you bumping into their flowers or whatever. But you know what? Can we love them anyway? 
That's over the top, extravagant love when we find somebody who is harder to love and we show them love anyway. Maybe there's somebody in your family you can show extravagant love to and you think, well, I already love them, they already know it. Well, let's be extravagant with our love. Can we do something like, I'm thinking, Jesus wash feet, what could we do that is sort of a lowly kind of job? I mean, do you already clean the hamster cage or the litter box or clean up the dog messes in the backyard? Maybe, maybe that is where you can step up and be extravagant and say, I'm willing to do this job now. That's extravagant love for your family. I, there are lots of opportunities that we can find to show extravagant love, and I hope you'll find some this week. It can be hard to show love, and maybe we should pray about that right now. Let's bow our heads. Father God, thank you for loving us and showing us what extravagant love looks like. Help us this week to imitate you and show that kind of over-the-top love to others. And all God's children said, Amen. Friends, this week, do something kind for someone who might be hard to love. Give something back to people who already show a lot of love for you. Go over the top. For your sister or brother, you could offer to do a chore that normally is their job. Go over the top and show extravagant love to everyone around you this week. Go imitate Jesus. Bye.